but I guess probably the big news or the bigger news or what what made headlines over the weekend is coming out of that Toronto game where Dan Milstein, the uh, agent for Nikita Zadorov, who we just talked about on Friday. Now, I, I, I think Pinder has been more anti big cat than us for sure. We know what he is, but I, I did. I liked him. What he had to say when he came out of the dressing room a couple weeks ago, not too many guys playing individually and we got to play as a team, this whole thing. But so just to quickly interject, not only because of what he said, because of how he does play, there are mistakes, but I do not doubt for one moment that Nikita Zadorov, the big cat, the big is cat. giving you everything he has. Yeah. Yeah. There's some try. He's invested and he cares about wins and losses. That I, I do believe. But it was. Hmm. Now. Did he say it or did the agent say it, right? That's one thing. If there was no agent, would Nikita Zadorov have come out after the game and say, I, no. I would rather play elsewhere. Please, I'm, I'm, I've asked for a trade. But it is inconvenient to, on, on one, one hand, talk about individuals caring only about themselves, sort of, and then coming out and saying, I want out. Um, I think it speaks to bigger issues. It's and I know what you're saying. You're saying, well, you got to look in the mirror. If you're the guy saying we have to be more team and we got to be here together, and we're I'm out of here. Okay, I get that people would be upset about that, but I believed what he said, and I think he's saying the agent is saying the other thing because he's fucking had it. Yeah, yeah, I do too. And I don't think it's because they lost to Toronto in a shootout. I think there has to be more bullshit going on in that room and don't i'm gonna get wound up again there's gonna be swearing don't get me going dean just let it go i don't want to get you yeah, yelling and screaming again there's no mm -hmm. fucking way it's changed that much from last year we've watched them again shit the bed and they aren't playing as more of a team i thought there's been little bits and little glimpses of a change over the last week maybe as far as effort is concerned, but you're starting from zero. The bar was at fucking zero. So you're, you're up this much. Like the rest of the league, you'd be looking at it going, you guys are horse shit, but because they've set the bar so freaking low, any improvement. Oh, well, we're 50% better. Yeah. But you started at sh nothing, nothing. And I, there, for years, we've questioned what's going on in that room, and I think it's a continuation, and I don't know how, with all the changes that have been made, it can still be the same. I just don't understand it. So clearly, clearly, something's going on in there. How many guys in the last two years have asked to get the out of here? Yeah. It, it, how many? I think Johnny, the point... Yeah, yeah. Kachuk. Lindholm has kind of said it. Hannafin has said it. Backlund said it at one point. Defoley said it. Zadorov said it. You don't think Kadri and Hubert will want to say it? Yeah, they do. They just got new contracts, so they're kind of feeling sheepish than they shouldn't. Yeah. Like, there is shit going on in there. How has no one gotten to the bottom of it? I have a feeling you could probably lump Coleman in there. And there's not, I'm not. Yes. But he just strikes me as a guy that's been part of a culture of winning and he's been around that. I was, I was going to say, I, I don't, nothing has changed because there's been no standard set. There's been no level of accountability. I shouldn't say accountability because probably, you know, Daryl certainly has that. And I'm sure that Huska has that, but there's no Personal bar, accountability. Yeah. Like there's no bar of success that, that says, guys, we're not, we should be better than this. Here's what we should be. Here's why are we down here? There's nothing it's just, I, I've said it, it's just a group of players going out to play hockey every night. There's nothing bigger than that. And you look around the league and there's some teams that you have a history and a culture and an identity. And these are all really catchphrases and there's no, nothing tangible about them. But you can tell that the Flames have none of it. There's nothing been set here that says, this is what it means to be on this team. Here's how you have to play. Here's what it means to wear this jersey kind of a thing. They're farting the wind. And the point you make about Zadorov is probably the bigger point. If you're frustrated, if, if, if it's like, a, well, F you, you want out, then, then beat it. Uh, we talked on Friday 
that out of all the guys on the back end that were UFAs, he's maybe the one you want to keep because he cares and gives a shit and has some some bite to him, has those leadership qualities. couple things. We can be wrong. Maybe he's a pain in the ass. Maybe he's moved around so much because he's part of the fucking problem. I'm, we're not in the room. So that's fine, too. But you can also think he's a good piece. And if he says he wants out, get him the fuck out of here. There's yeah. no room for people that don't want to be there. And if Lindholm don't want to be there and him and him, then it's more imperative to just do it. Quit waiting for this, this, the biggest Christmas ever. Like yeah. we fell into a pot of fucking gold. And for some reason, this trade deadline. Oh my God. The rest of the teams are all going to go brain dead and just give you everything. Mm -hmm. Like your whole fucking team's going to be first rounders for the next two decades. Like, what are you talking about? If anyone was desperate for these guys, they'd have fucking went and got them. Oh, they're not there. They're going to try and hand Conroy a anvil when he's swimming. Yes and no. These teams want to make the playoffs. They want to improve. They either believe the players that the Flames have are worth it or not. You don't risk your chance at a Stanley Cup because you're trying to screw Conroy out of a second. Yeah, there's this holy grail of picks and prospects oh. that's waiting for the Flames. Yeah, so the Flames are going to go to the deadline and they're going to move Hannafin and Lindholm and Zadorov. Who else needs to go? One of the Tanev. goalies. And so they're yeah. going to make like Five or six fucking move. Part I keep swearing. I'm sorry. Five or six moves at the deadline, and we're gonna get what? What are we getting in return? Like it must be Nirvana. Like we're gonna end up next year in first place overall because this return is just gonna be so good. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more of our content right here on the Flames Nation YouTube page. We had a bunch of great long form interviews. You can check out some videos we've done as well outside of the studio. And of course, if you want more writing or merchandise stuff, flamesnation.ca or nationgear.ca. Appreciate you watching.